What's up guys and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. In this video I will talk about uh, charging all your electronics on your adventures. When I'm riding off-grid and I like doing that, uh, staying away from uh, the cities and uh, major big campgrounds, I have a lot of electronics uh, when I travel. So I have my Go, like GoPros, I have a couple of them and I have my drone here, Senna. So I need quite a bit of power to charge all my electronics. And at the same time, I have the camera that I'm filming, filming this video right now with my Lumix uh, G85. So the power is needed uh, when I'm on the road and I like to make those videos sharing with you guys. I found that just the port on your dash that you have for your uh, cigarette, cigarette lighter plug-in with or the USB plug uh, that that's not sufficient enough to charge all your stuff on a go and especially when you're traveling with uh, quite a few electronics if you carry a laptop or a tablet or anything of that sort of or cameras so I came up with uh, different ideas uh, a lot of you already know about the Eastern Beaver PC8 uh, power block uh, this is a uh, an amazing addition that I've added uh, on my bike and um, with that unit I'm running all my accessories uh, on my bike such as the heated grips uh, two sets of fog lamps front socket actually is going also in there and then what I did I I rerouted the uh, charging port for your battery that you have on the side of the frame uh, to trickle charge your battery while you're storing the bike I rerouted that as well to the Eastern Beaver uh, power supply. This way um, everything is going through a block and is protected with additional fuse and uh, it doesn't interfere with the charging of the on the battery. It's still charging it correctly. Uh, I have it like this since day one uh, that I bought the Eastern Beaver within the same year that I purchased my bike in 2017. I am still with the original battery and it's holding it's charging it that way as well so it doesn't have to go through directly into the battery the beauty uh, about it is that uh, the eastern beaver power block has a couple different ports that are not accessory switchable so anything that needs to be on an accessory power is routed to those ports that are on accessory when you turn your uh, bike on only that equipment is running such as the heated grips or fog lamps so this way you don't forget to turn them off when you stop the bike and uh, the other I believe that there's two ports that, that are uh, non switchable and for that port is used to to charge to, to run the trickle charger on my uh, Africa twin there is a nice uh, nice little addition uh, that you can purchase for that uh, battery charging port it's uh, b made by Optimate and as you see it's got the fitting that you can just plug it in into your wiring on that comes out uh, uh, with the frame and on the back you have the USB port uh, super nice addition I bought it at my uh, local Honda dealer here in Calgary and uh, it's a uh, 1000 milliamps it's got a uh, blue light indication when it's uh, plugged in and power goes through it so it's uh, illuminated and it comes with uh, extra cables as well different uh, type of cables uh, type C or lightning adapter whatever you need uh, so that will plug into this uh, to this port right here and it has different extensions and I route that cable into the side of my uh, left pannier on my bike to charge all my battery banks or whatever needs to be charged uh, while I'm riding. Great little tip if you want to use that port for more than just uh, charging your batteries uh, during storage. And uh, I'll start with a couple different po uh, battery power banks uh, that I have been using since I've been riding bikes uh, even on my previous bike. So this one here is one of the first guys that I have purchased. It's an outdated model now, but it still works great. This one, this model here, it's made by Kedron. It is 2400 milliamps. The new one that you will find online, it's 2500 milliamps. Uh, I will put the affiliated links to all those power banks if you are interested 
uh, of getting any of those. This is the base model and it will do the charging uh, if you don't have too much uh, and you're going for a shorter trip so it will do just fine. It's uh, one of the cheapest ones. You can click on my affiliated links. Uh, it will not cost you any more if you want to purchase that but uh, Amazon will make a little payment uh, into my account if you buy it uh, through my links. To cover this unit here, um, it has a nice uh, uh, LCD display that shows you how much power left you have on this battery pack. In the back, you have three USB ports, uh, you have the lightning port, and you also have the micro USB port for charging. A uh, nice simple unit and uh, it's got uh, 2400 milliamps. Uh, the next ones uh, are going to be a little bit more advanced uh, battery packs. And those guys here are made by Anchor. Anchor makes a lot of uh, nice portable electronics uh, from uh, power blocks to uh, power banks. Uh, they make nice headphones and I also use the Anchor speaker. Uh, that uh, Bluetooth speaker that's uh, the size pretty much of this thing, just uh, shorter. Um, don't have it here right now, I should have brought it, but anyways, I can. so when I'm camping, uh, we always have some tunes going um, when we are having our rum in the evening. So that's um, an additional thing that I carry. And so when it runs out of power, it has to be charged as well, of course. So that's why I have those uh, power banks and a lot of power with me. The first one here, it's uh, two uh, 20,000 uh, milliamps. Um, this is an intelligent uh, power bank and uh, it's a very nice and slick design. Uh, this one here doesn't have any displays. Anchor didn't go that far, but I'm totally okay with that. Don't need it. Uh, it has just a little push button. Not sure if that's going to show on a video that shows you how much power you have left. So when you hit that, it lights up with blue dots and it shows you how much power you have. So on this boy here, you have two different uh, USB charging ports, uh, just the normal USB port. Then you have the uh, USB type C and micro USB. Uh, keep in mind that those power banks, uh, they take quite a long time to fully charge. So I always make sure they're charged before I leave on my trip. And Anchor supplies pretty much everything you need, except the power block uh, that if you want to charge it, charge it at home or in your hotel. Um, they come with the USB, micro USB charging cable, and also they will include a nice little mesh storage pouch. Uh, this way when it goes uh, connected to my uh, tether uh, from, from the battery charger inside my uh, left uh, pannier that I have on my bike. So I, I can lock it up and uh, while I'm riding it will get charged. The next one that I want to talk, it's uh, one of the biggest ones that I have. Um, that's uh, Anker 26,080 milliamps. Uh, that, that's quite big power supply, uh, power bank, I should say. And uh, this boy here takes about uh, six and a half to seven hours to fully charge. And uh, it also comes with the IQ technology, uh, three IQ uh, USB ports. It has two micro USB char uh, charging ports. So what's good about this unit? You can uh, speed up the charging when you use two cables coming into the unit. But for that, you need a power block uh, with the higher wattage uh, power supply. Before I jump into the power supply that uh, for charging those things, you can use pretty much anything, uh, any micro uh, USB charging port, but it will take full time to charge it. If you use two cables, it will be much quicker. Uh, the power level indicator is on the side here. So when you press that, it has uh, three, uh, four dots that shows you approximately how much power you have on this uh, power bank. So that's quite simple, nice, slick design. Uh, this one is on a little bit heavier side. It's uh, 498 grams, which is uh, about 17 and a half ounces. 
and keep in mind this is uh, the biggest uh, power block pretty much that you can bring uh, on a plane uh, they allow uh, 27,000 milliamps so this one just falls below that uh, maximum limit that you can bring in your carry-on luggage so that's a very important stuff to remember you can there is bigger power banks but uh, you have to be careful uh, if you want to bring your power bank on a flight uh, or you're bringing your motorcycle somewhere uh, and you're flying with the power bank uh, then you cannot go bigger than 27,000 milliamp hours. They also include the storing pouch, uh, same as the previous model I showed you. I don't remember if those two of those uh, that came in the package or only one. Uh, that's not important. I'll put the links and you'll have a look at it. So those are the three power banks that I'm using. And to charge those power banks, I have purchased um, Anker power charging block. Uh, this, this one here, it's a four port charging block. So you can put uh, four USB cables to charge four different devices at the same time. So this is a nice addition if you have a chance on your trip to stop in a hotel or any other place uh, where you have actual electricity and you can charge your power banks this way on a go. I, I have a couple tips that I can add for you when uh, you are traveling and uh, you making a rest stop or you go for supper. You can ask usually the owner of the restaurant uh, if you can plug in your um, power bank while you're there and you can top up your equipment at the same time. Another good tip uh, if you are, let's say, at the gas station and you're spending there a little bit of time and you see vending machines, Usually behind the vending machines, uh, the, the, you'll find uh, power as well. Two ways to go about it. Um, if it's somewhere in the back, you, you can simply tap in and uh, you'll see double wall plate uh, like you would have it at home. And only one of them will be used. So you can plug in all your equipment and charge uh, while you're there. Uh, if you're spending there, let's say even an hour or so, you will top up all your electronics that way. Uh, or if it's somewhere more invisible and you know you don't want to be like that you can go and approach the owner of the store or whoever is working and ask them if you if you can plug it in uh, your equipment to charge uh, this way it look, looks more legit and uh, usually they will not refuse it um, because there's not many people probably doing that. So that was a short video how I charge my electronics while I'm on a move and off grid. It might be helpful to some of you to, to use the ideas that, uh, that I do uh, when I'm traveling. It's still winter out here, still not riding. Previous videos that I posted, uh, I made a video about the uh, camping stove. There was a pocket rocket and a universal uh, whisper, uh, whisper light. The next video I'm thinking of doing is about the camping shovel that comes with the multi-tools that you can use on a go uh, while you're camping off-grid. Uh, that could be handy and it packs really small. So thank you for watching again and see you in the next video. Cheers.